The beta of DMZ has been out for a month now and has a lot of things Infinity Ward needs to work on and add if they want DMZ to have any chance of succeeding once the alpha are fully released. Start off, DMZ should include different playlists. Obviously they need a solo playlist. DMZ is a more casual game mode compared to the rest of the game, so why wouldn't there be a solo playlist for those who are just trying to get XP without being triple teamed or even worse by these squads using a simulation just to attack this one dude who spent his entire match working towards his missions carrying the M13B he just got from the chemist and 10 seconds away from Exfil, boom, dead. Am I speaking from experience? Doesn't matter, moving on. It would also be cool if we get a Team Rumble type of experience or a single Exfil helicopter game mode, making things more stressful and intense as people hold down those Exfil spots with the meta probably being to steal enemy players loot. Next, DMZ would definitely benefit from a locker or headquarters system. The current key system is stupid. Usually you have to plan your entire match around using a key that you acquired just for some basic loot, even if you spawn on the complete opposite side of the map and don't want to risk losing it if you fail to exfil. If there is a locker system in place, you can spawn wherever, and as you walk into a section of the map and remember you have a key to a nearby door, you just run over to a headquarter location, grab the key out of your locker and head back to unlock it without having to carry it on your person before loading into the match. Same thing with your contraband, I'd love to be able to store basic weapon or grab one out in the middle of a match. I understand that the point of the game mode is the risk of losing your items, but they can easily balance this by making it limited to very basic weapons and making it so you can't store exclusive blueprints or guns you haven't unlocked in these lockers, such as the M13B and its variant. These headquarter locations could also provide something like a bank system, like the one we saw back in Black Ops 2 Zombies, with the gimmick being that you can withdraw money if you want to make a quick buy at a buy station, but they'd probably have to balance how much money you can collect in exfil within a match. DMZ also needs more exclusive items like the M13B. This doesn't just have to be limited to weapons, we can also have cosmetics. This doesn't just have to be limited to the weapons though. We can also have cosmetics such as operator skins that you can exfil with or more weapon blueprints. They can also have exclusive score streaks. Cosmetic score streaks could also make an appearance. I'd love to be able to change the look of my gunship or juggernaut suit. They could also do something similar to COD Ghost with the Predator or Michael Myers variant of the juggernaut. Another idea is field upgrade and perks. There's a lot of times in the past where they added perks and field upgrades into the game later down the line, and DMZ is a way they could implement them. DMZ definitely needs more bosses. I'd love to have more bosses spread out across the map. I like the fact that we have the chemist, but it sucks that you're battling the entire lobby to kill this one dude for his gun. Also, I feel if we're going to label them as bosses, they need to have a little more depth to them. Looking back at the original Borderlands game, there was one thing that truly got me hooked from the start, and it was the introduction to the first boss, Nine Toes. A simple bandit lord, but he had a story. First off, the title card informs you this man has three balls, then when you kill him, his gun, the clipper, and the description, it reads, don't drop it, might lose a toe, giving you the backstory of how this bandit lord became known as Nine Toes. What I'm trying to get at is that the future bosses they add into this mode need to be something more than a reskin juggernaut who has an exclusive weapon. Finally, story. DMZ really needs a good story with good storytelling elements. The last thing I want is for them to pull off the same thing they did with Black Ops Cold War and have the story locked behind these intel collectibles. Whether or not they're scattered across the map or you have to do repetitive trials again, which we were limited to only three pieces of intel a match, and having you do challenges such as stay in this location for five minutes in the prone position using only a knife with one health type of bullshit. If anything, the bare minimum I want is for a drug lord named Francisco the Grim Reaper Rodriguez or some shit to kidnap the president's kids and I'm here trying to get information on his whereabouts by interrogating a guy named T Tabasco in a stronghold. God damn, I need to lay off the Mexican food. As of now, I see we have these faction missions, but I don't feel like I'm helping a faction really achieve anything. Bare minimum, I'd like to see them adjust these faction missions where you're locked down and dedicated to one faction, working to complete progress towards their bigger goal for an exclusive reward or something similar that only the people in a certain faction can earn. We can even have entire wars in the middle of the map happening between these factions, happening like in a ground war fashion, trying to complete their particular faction missions and prevent the others from succeeding. Then maybe once you complete that faction storyline, you can assign yourself to another so players aren't fully locked out of all the rewards. Overall, I'm a huge fan of the idea of DMZ. I want it to succeed so badly. If you're a fan of DMZ or MW2 in general, you should really consider subscribing 
describing. As soon, I'll be expanding on this video with more ideas for the game mode, including some bosses I could see them adding, and would love to discuss these with you guys in the near future. With that being said, thank you guys for watching today's video. It would make my day if you'd leave a like, and I hope you all have a fantastic day.